Hey guys, uh, so this is going to be a little bit different video than I usually do, and this is actually a very serious topic. Um, today, because it's just before midnight, today as I'm recording this, so it's going to be uh, March 12th when this goes up, so this is on Saturday, March 11th of 2023, when this goes up. Um, earlier today, um, <laughs> I can't believe this is an issue that we still face right now. So, just for some context, basically, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, not only am I Canadian, but my family um, is uh, Cree First Nations, which, depending on where you're from, could mean, you know, anyway, tons of countries have different terms for First Nations, where, you know, indigenous, indigenous, ethnic people, whatever the, whatever the fuck you want to call us, basically. But that's what we are. And we live in a very small town. And so today... My family went out. I stayed home because I had a headache, so I decided to stay home, uh, do some light housework and stuff like that, because I didn't feel like going out. When you got a headache, you don't want to do much. So, as I'm just going, uh, just about to go out and get some firewood, my mom messages, let me know that they're on their way home, and that she is pissed, like right proper pissed off. So I ask her what's up, and she tells me, you know, she was when she gets home. <coughs> so they get home. And I ask her, what's up? Like, was it a Karen type thing? Because we still have, you know, fucking Karen pandemic going on. Karen apocalypse, whatever the fuck you want to call it. So I'm assuming that. She comes in, and all she says immediately was, there was a guy following them around the store. And so they confronted him. And skipping all that, de all that information, or those extra details, basically... Because my family is First Nations, this white guy, I'm not going to say Caucasian or anything, I'm going to be blunt. This white guy followed my native family around, simply, in his own words, because of how they looked. And prior to that, to that statement, my mom, who's a former RCMP officer, for anybody who's not from Canada... RCMP stands for Royal Canadian Mounted Police. My mom's a fucking cop. Confronted him and asked him, why are you following us? And at first, apparently, he denied it. He said, I wasn't following you. She told him, or told him, basically, you've been down every aisle. We've been down. So what the fuck's your problem, basically? <clears throat> so he said that he's allowed to profile anyone he wants. Simply because of the way my family looked. Now, we've all seen, you know, in we've all seen incidents where it's like, you know, people get profiled based, based on the way they look. My dad was wearing a vest he got from his job as a miner, a diamond driller. My sister was wearing a coat that she borrowed from my dad, which was also a mining coat. My mom was wearing a simple, like, old navy hoodie. My brother was wearing a black hoodie with a very simple, like, Deadpool symbol on it. Not by Deadpool himself, just like, a rounded circle with, you know, the kind of mask pattern in the middle of it. So, it's not the way they looked. It was the color of their skin. So, a manager came in, tried to de-escalate the situation. That did not work at all. <clears throat> My mom told me that... Not only did she not do anything to help, but she actually defended the guy. And the manager was white too. So now you have two white people getting up on a native family. And again, my mom, who identified herself to both of them as a former cop, on how what they were doing is not right. And kind of illegal, because the guy was stalking my family. So then, apparently, as things were getting more and more heated, a supervisor showed up. And told my family to leave. They actually told my family, who was defending themselves from someone stalking them and harassing them, to leave the store. In what world is that fucking right? Where someone can decide, I'm going to profile people, whoever the fuck I want, basically, can do that and get defended. That is textbook racism and racial discrimination. I don't get involved 
in drama that my own people cause. Because my family, we don't agree with a lot of things that First Nations bitch about. We don't, you know, get on the whole, you know, reconciliation thing. It's like, shit happens. The shit our people bitch about, our, our people, um, bitch about, it happens. It happened. But when people racially profile, that is a whole different story. You have no right to say, I'm going to profile you, I'm going to follow you, I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want because you're an Indian or First Nations or whatever. That is not fucking right. And the fact that, again, the staff, the manager and supervisor of this Home Depot, I forgot to mention it's a fucking Home Depot, in my town, defended this guy and told my family to leave the store. Why didn't he get kicked out? And apparently, because my dad kind of told me some of the air story, because my mom went to go calm down, because she was very pissed off, told me that the staff member was like, well, you have things in a container, because they're all buying some stuff for our season, because we're going to be starting, me and my brother are going to be starting work here soon, we do seasonal work. They had stuff in the containers. And it's like, well, the, the lid's open. The lid, because whenever we go to stores and we have to put stuff like in a container, we always leave it uncovered. So that way it's not like we're trying to hide anything, because we don't do that. You keep the lids off so the staff can clearly see you got your stuff in the containers. And we tell them, too. Even though it's open, we tell them, hey, we got some stuff in here, we're just going to take it out, put it, you know, on the belt or whatever. And my dad pointed out to the manager, like, you guys check those things anyway. So what's the big fucking deal? And the manager even said, yes, we check them. So it's like, what's the big fucking deal then? What's the fucking problem? The manager had no response. And in the midst of all the drama of the supervisor, um, not the supervisor, the manager, the supervisor showed up and told them they had to leave. I am, I am so fucking mad. When I heard that story, like I said, I fully expected just another Karen story. Because Karens, they overreact, they're fucking stupid. But this isn't even a joking matter. This is a matter of something that should not be happening. Canada as a whole has tried to do reconciliation with the nations to help, you know, rebuild the culture, help make amends for what happened, especially here in my province in British Columbia. Our provincial government has worked extremely closely with the elders and the councils and the chiefs of so many different nations across this whole province. And there's about 200 individual nations and bands in this fucking province. And they are working tirelessly to work with all of them to bring forth reconciliation. How do you reconcile something when behavior like this is something that still happens? I'm not blaming my government. Not at all. They can't control people. But... When the government is saying, hey, this behavior, it's outdated. It doesn't belong in this modern world. It doesn't belong in this country. How can you follow a family around who is doing nothing besides just trying to buy some shit and say, I can profile whoever I want and I'm going to do it because I don't like the way you look. I don't... I don't even know what the fuck to say. And this isn't the first time this has happened either. There was a store that was built into our our, our mall, uh, Lowe's, who's an American chain for anybody who doesn't know. They did the same thing to my siblings, actually. 2019 had, um, or not 2019, sorry, 2018 had just started. Like, we were just a few days into the new year. We went to go check out, you know, some new year sales at the stores, stuff like that in the mall. And we were trying to catch up to our dad because we found some stuff with our mom that she wanted to show him. Like it was some kind of tie lane and stuff like that. And it was a good price. So we find him, but he's too far ahead to hear us calling him because it's, it's very loud. Like there's, there's people with their kids and the kids are being fucking obnoxiously loud. Like ridiculously loud, like holy fuck loud. So my brother, my brother and sister uh, 
go to get them. Like they're not they're not running. They're kind of like you know jogging, but they're kind of like watching for people. And I'm behind them, so I'm the oldest out of the three. And this white staff member yells at them, almost screaming at them to slow the fuck down. Wow, I'm not even fucking kidding. A nutter family was there, a white family, letting their kids climb on displays. And that same staff member we saw walking around ten minutes before that didn't say a goddamn thing to them. So the fact that this is a thing that continues to happen, and not just to my family, but like in general, is fucking ridiculous. I will never understand fucking racism. Racism should not fucking exist in this world. All I'm gonna say now is, yes, I'm mad. Do I... Do I wish things were different? Absolutely. But one of the big things I'm gonna say now, before I end this video, is do not judge others based on their race. Do not base it on their ethnicity. Base it on their character. And do not judge a whole race or ethnicity based on a few bad people. That's all I gotta say. This is a rant video. Take whatever you will of it. But yeah, this is just fucking stupid that my family got fucking profiled because we're a First Nations family. Fucking ridiculous.